Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another st story on record to do. Today's story is The Lone Ranger, Ace Wow, from 1978. So let's see what this sounds like. Silver had thrown a shoe and Tonto and I stopped at a blacksmith in the edge of a little town named McKinney. The establishment was called Colum and Son, and the youngster at the anvil must have been the son. He was quick, and he was expert. That ought to do it, mister. Nice job, son. Look at this, Tonto. Him, fine blacksmith. Name's Colum, Jed Colum. Pleased to know you, Jed. Say, mister, if you don't mind my asking, what's the mask for? Oh, uh, that, well, sometimes the sun gets to me. This shades the eyes a bit. Uh-huh. How much do we owe you, Jed? Oh, why don't we say five dollars? Fair enough. Right, Tonto? Keep fair. Hold on there. That'll be fifteen dollars, not five. You, Mr. Cullum? Heck no. This ain't my father. This is Clem Norton. What's the joke, Clem? No joke, sonny. I'm managing this shop now. Your dad went and lost it to Ace Fountain down at the casino. Not five minutes ago. He gambling again? Was. Figure he's cleaned out by now. This here's the deed, see? Yep. And this here's where it says it was signed over to Ace Fountain. I can read. Well, mister, like I say, that'll be fifteen dollars. Prices get higher every day, don't they, Tonto? It didn't take Jed Collum long to move his gear out of the shop. And Tonto and I rode with him into town. Behind us, Clem Notton was hammering up a sign that said, Ace Fountain, Blacksmith. We passed more Ace Fountain Enterprises as we moved along the streets. The Fountain Hotel, the Fountain Tonsorial Palace, the Fountain General Store, and last but not least, as we reined in and hitched our horses, the Fountain Casino. Ace Fountain's kind of big in this town, isn't he? He owns it, mister. Lock, stock, and barrel. You fine blacksmith. You should work shop. Yes, I'll have to. For Ace Fountain. Your father likes to gamble, huh? It's like a sickness. I only hope he didn't go and lose the ponies. What ponies? The two prize palominos I showed you. Fountain's been trying to get them for a long time. Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh, son, I guess I went and did it. Yes, you did, Pop. We'll be working for Ace Fountain now. Now, uh, don't you worry, son. We'll get the place back. Just you wait. One of these days, I'll have a streak of luck to do. Now, come on, Pop. You know you can't beat Ace Fountain at his own game. He don't even deal in fair. He cheats? Uh, well, some say he does. Some say he doesn't. Anyway, nobody's going to call his bluff. He's the old man. He's the deadliest shot in these parts, mister. And a fast draw on top of that. Will he bet on it? Ace will bet on anything. Pop, what about the Palominos? We still got them, son. Only I'm afraid we'll have to sell. Tell you what, Mr. Cullum. My partner and I here are looking for some fine ponies. Suppose you sell them to us. I don't know, stranger. We pay top price. What do you think, son? I'd rather see these fellas get them than Ace Fountain. And you know, he'll get them sooner or later, just like he's got everything else in this town. Okay, boys. How's about 200? It's a deal. Tonto, would you pay the man and get the piece of paper? Yes, Commissary. Meanwhile, I think I'll get acquainted with Ace Fountain. Which one is he, Jed? Over there, by the stove. The one keeps laughing all the time. Well, there I'd been picturing Ace Fountain as a big, mean hombre with killer's eyes. Turned out he was a gentle-looking old man with white hair. And on top of that, he didn't have the use of his legs, and he sat in a wheelchair. Well, you can't tell a book by its cover, so they say. But if Ace Fountain was the fastest draw in town, there was a reason for it. He kept his holster strapped to the arm of his wheelchair, within an inch of his fingers. Are you looking for somebody, stranger? You, Ace Fountain? That's what they call me. See, what's the mask for? Now, you don't need to hold us up now, do you? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something, boys? A hold up at Fountain's Casino? That's not what was on my mind, Mr. Fountain. No? Well, I'm glad to hear it. But maybe a little cards to pass the time. <laughs> you hear that, boys? Man wants to play cards. Here, you're a betting man, Mr. Fountain. <laughs> you heard I was a betting man? Did you get that one, boys? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sit down, stranger. Thanks. Never let a stranger get away from you without him having himself a little fun. Now, what will it be, boy? Draw, stud, juices wild? Little five-card stud will suit me. By all means. Cut. Your deal. All right, now the first king bets. Up to you, stranger. Five dollars be all right. Five dollars? <laughs> I don't know, boys. Can I afford it? <laughs> yeah, here's your five, 
stranger, and I raised with him. It wasn't hard to lose to Ace Fountain. He was a shark. I didn't see any signs of his cheating, but something about the man put me off. He was just too arrogant, a man who had had his own way too often for too long a time. He was too defiant, too proud, and I aimed to take his pride down a peg. Ten. Of fifteen. I'll see you, Mr. Fountain. Tens and three. Beat me. I'll tell you what, stranger. How about a little straight draw? I always figure that to be a better game. Uh, I think you just about cleaned me out, Mr. Fountain. Oh, now, come on, stranger. You must have something left to put up, like a little piece of land, maybe, a horse. <laughs> you always give a fellow a chance to win a stake back. Right, boys? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have but a few dollars left, but if you're interested in ponies... Ponies, you say? Prize Palominos. Just bought them from Mr. Column over there. Is that right, Pop? This fellow buy them ponies from you? Sure, sure, well, why do you know? All right, stranger, what would it be? Stud again? You name it. Well, as you can see, I'm not too good at cards. Cut the deck, then? That's an easy enough game for a tenderfoot like you. Truth is, Mr. Fountain, only thing I'm really good at at all is shooting. Shooting? <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, boy? Shooting. This here fellow's asking me to a shooting match. Thought you were a betting man, Mr. Fountain. Mister, you just lost yourself two prize Palomino ponies. Ha, ha, ha. Wheel me out to the street, boys. Let's show this fellow what good shooting really is. Outside the casino, the whole town came into the street to watch. We collected a lot of tin cans and bottles, and the shooting match was on. I chose Tonto for my assistant, and Ace Fountain had Clint Nutton. Now, these here are the rules. You have your man throw a bottle into the air, and you shoot first, then me. First one to miss, he's lost. Savvy? What's the bet, Mr. Fountain? Them Palomino. One at a time, okay? Sure. Against all the money I lost? Sure, sure. Now start shooting. We ain't got all day. Ready, Tonto? Hey, Jimmy, Sammy. Bro. Nice shooting, nice. stranger. Uh, your turn. I am? I'm all set, Mr. Fountain. Let it go. Keep it safe. Again, Mr. Fountain? Oh, this here's child's play, stranger. How about two at a time? Two bottles in the air, same time. Sure. Want to make it three? Three? If that's too many for you. <laughs> too many. You hear that, boys? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Clem. Throw them up. <laughs> two out of three. Your turn, mister. Tonto. Hey, come here, I'm even up, Mr. Fountain. Figure I'll just mosey along. Now, now, hold on there, stranger. I'm shooting for them two ponies. All or nothing. Against what? You name it. Well, what do you say to putting up that smithy shop on the edge of town? Cullum's old place? For the two ponies. You're on. But this time you're going to lose, mister. Five bottles. That's right, five bottles at one time. Don't you figure they'll fall too fast? All right, we'll make them tin cans. Let's see you shoot, Mr. Fountain. Five cans this time, Clem. Let get them. Let them go. Not bad, Mr. Fountain. Four out of five. Your turn, stranger. Tonto, any time. Well, Mr. Fountain, I guess your eyes not too sharp today. Now, now, just a minute, mister. You don't get off so easy. I'm just warming up. Now, if you see that hotel across the road? The Fountain Hotel? And this here gun holds six rounds. You game? Well, it's your hotel. Or is right now. Six cans, Clem. Get them ready. Hey, shoot gun, plumb out of your mind. Let them go. Well, that was some shooting match. Old Ace Fountain just wouldn't give up. But a man like that just scratch his pride and he just loses his head. And Fountain lost more than that. By the time it was all over, he'd lost the hotel, the tonsorial palace, the general store, and the casino. And at the end of it, he just sat there in his wheelchair smiling at me. Well, stranger, <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. You're one fine shot. You're a good loser, Mr. Fountain. I've been a bit man all my life. You win some, you lose some. Ain't no use crying about it. Welcome to McCain, stranger. Looks like you owe most of it. Tell you what, Mr. Fountain, I'll sell you back the hotel, the tonsorial palace, the general store, and the casino. Everything except the 
Smithy. Okay. Now, what do you want? Will fifty dollars be fair? <laughs> You're shaming me, mister. No, I... Yes, you are. Trying to teach me a lesson, you are. Well, maybe you did. But at the same time, I still got some pride left. For the hotel, the store, the Tonsorio Palace, and the casino. They, uh, we'll make it five thousand. And, son, you earned it. Tonto and I rode out of town. And Jed Collum and his father came as far as the blacksmith shop with us. <laughs> and see how grateful I am, stranger, who turned the key to the shop back to us. It's your work, Mr. Collum, and your boys. You can't take a man's work away from him. Can't say his ace took it away from us. He won it fair and square. But I learned me a lesson. And I'm through with gambling. Gambling's a bad habit, Mr. Collum. Yep. So my boys been telling me. Right, Jed? I don't mean to rub it in, Pop. You'll keep up good work, young one. You best blacksmith I see and many more. Thanks, Toto. And you too, Ranger. Ranger? You didn't think that mask was fooling me, did you? I've heard about you for years, Ranger. <laughs> Jed, you follow Tonto's advice and keep up the good work. Maybe we'll see you again sometime. Let's ride, Tonto. Up, Scout. I'll Silver. Away! So that was The Lone Ranger, Ace Wow, from 1978. And this is the last episode on this record. Now we're going to show you the back side. I'm going to show you the back side of this album. Look how nice that, that picture is. Now I don't know who drew it, but it looks like a comic book kind of, kind of drawn. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And we have another video coming out real soon.